Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. And if you have time, subscribe. What we're going to talk about today is the rest of the story. Well, first topic is going to be about how the chickens are doing. Yesterday made the second day with no loss. God, am I thankful for that. I really worried that uh, I would lose my whole flock of uh, pullets. My adult chickens, they're okay. And my babies are okay. But yesterday I was out there and uh, they're, they, they're energetic and back to norm. And I, I can hand feed them again. And uh, it was a pleasure, to be honest with you. I, you know, I get a lot of satisfaction uh, spending time with them. Uh, we've actually uh, turned one of the roosters loose. Uh, I want to start uh, breeding again. Uh, probably start about the middle of next week, something like that. Give him time, uh, the hens time to get fertile. And then uh, I'll start collecting for the eggs again and fire the incubator up and see what happens. <laughs> I'm using a, my youngest rooster this time so that uh, I can get a different gene pool. Um, because the, before it was my oldest rooster and he just so aggressive that uh, um, he, he just ripped the feathers off the backs of the hens. And it wouldn't give the other two roosters an opportunity. So I'm going to try something different and see how it works out. Uh, that way I can kind of keep the gene pool mixed up. And then I'll have to, uh, if this works out, I'll have to uh, later try to find someone that's willing to trade roosters so I can keep the gene pool uh, different. But the big thing is, we're on the upscale, and the, and my chickens seem to be doing good with the, the meds and uh, disinfecting and uh, the sprayer that we got in, a uh, commercial sprayer, uh, we're misting the, the roosters and sterilizing those. And, uh, things are looking up, finally. Uh, Grace and I have it's such, such a relief, to be honest with you. Uh, you get attached to these chickens, to be honest with you. Uh, I foresee uh, it's going to be hard for us to, to butcher for our chickens when it comes time. Uh, <laughs> hopefully not, but uh, it appears that way. And i got a tidbit of information for you. Uh, for those that live here or anywhere in the world if the product is available. Uh, especially in warm weather, you know, if you're outside and you're trying to enjoy yourself. I'm sure everybody has a similar problem. Flies. Now, I've not had much of a fly problem here in a long, long time. But here in the past couple of weeks, uh, we've had a fly problem which is odd uh, for some reason they they're back now, how you saw that well I'll be honest with you I ordered some more of what they call fly killer it, it comes in a box of 25 like this and it's affordable and it's little packets and inside the, inside the packets it's granules and it does an exceptional job now it says it's non-toxic -to, -to, to humans and pets and I can't verify this at this time 
But I have noticed that uh, it hasn't disturbed my cats, and they actually come around and sniffed it and so forth. Uh, and uh, so far, no problem with the cats. Uh, it did concern me. So, but uh, that's one of the reasons I ordered it, because it said it wouldn't be harmful to humans or, or pets. And a fly can land on this stuff, and within 30 seconds to a minute, it's history. He it doesn't have to do much, just land on it. And I don't know. <laughs> Makes you worry about if, if they told the truth about being toxic to humans and pets. But anyway, when I put it out, I, I washed my hands immediately. And I usually use a, a piece of a plastic cover. In this case here, this one here has got the humidity side, it's gelled up, but this is a, a cap for a Pringles can. I use that, and I just set it down somewhere, and you'd be amazed, and within a few hours, there's flies all over the floor just turned up. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I, I enjoy being outside, so this is important to me. Because I have my meals out here, and I, I don't like flies flying around my food. And I'm sure there's other people like me, too. <coughs> but, uh, that's a little tip of advice. Now, I ordered this off of Lazada, and uh, I bought the four boxes for about $8. Uh, I think it was, uh, it was a little over 400 pesos with shipping. Uh, so it, it rounded off roughly about eight U.S. dollars, and it gives me a hundred packs. If I cut one a day out, which I don't have to, but say if I did, that's three months' supply for a very affordable price. And then, and I'm thinking seriously, you know, I'm, I don't want to gamble on it. I, I thought about it, and then I back off. I'm not going to put it out at the chicken coop. I did think about it, but I'm not going to. I'm not taking the chance. Uh, even though I've seen this stuff advertised being used, uh, it was developed just for that purpose for chickens uh, to keep the fly population down. Uh, I've noticed being out there at the chicken coop yesterday, there wasn't no fly issue. Uh, so, I don't think it'd be necessary. Uh, I thought maybe with the fly pop on the population I'm getting here, it might be due to the chickens, but being out there where the chickens are, uh, I observe uh, you see an occasional fly, but nothing like I have here on my porch or a terrace or what you would say. I don't know. Maybe the rain has brought them in, because we have been getting some rain on a daily basis now, after that long dry spell, which I'm glad the rains are coming the way they are. It gets time for it, uh, the ground to get saturated and absorb it instead of just running off. Uh, our little stream has actually picked up a little bit. It's got a few inches of water in it now. So that's a good thing. Uh, Still, the local water supply is not not functioning. Uh, that's one of the main reasons I drill the well, because uh, the inconsistency of water supply. Uh, so, I'm not, I'm not used it in a long time, no ever since I drilled the well. Uh, due to, uh, <coughs> it just wouldn't, couldn't depend on it. So much for that, <laughs> but I thought I'd let people know that the things are on the upswing finally. The temperature's dropped quite a bit. Uh, I checked it earlier. Uh, it was uh, still 80 degrees this morning, but it's cooler than what it has been. You know, it's better than 83, 85 this time of morning. So things are improving. Uh, um, I do have a shocker 
the electric company had took a big increase in uh, my last electric bill. It jumped <coughs> uh, roughly twenty dollars, which is big here because uh, of what we have on the system. So I, you know, as everybody aware, I use a lot of solar. And uh, I'm running probably 70% solar in my little more. Uh, if I ever get uh, uh, the funds coming in off of the chickens to where I can build a little more nest egg, I'll probably invest more into the solar. Because, uh, no more, you know, kilowatts we use. But, uh, I'm only talking uh, the grid we're using roughly, I think, if I remember, just bear with me, uh, almost 250 kilowatts. And it's and it's $80. That's a sizable amount for a small amount of electricity. Uh, now, my overall usage, we use almost 800 kilowatts. Uh, we do have some uh, constant loads, and with this heat, uh, our deep freezing refrigerator works a bit harder, and uh, our incubator going, and uh, heat lamps going, and our well pump. Uh, you know, we we use a lot of water. <coughs> Plus, you know, we do have a washing machine, which is, to be honest with you, it's cheap to operate. Uh, I think it uh, it's only got. 380 watt motor on it, which means if it's under full load for an hour, um, it's not even a kilowatt. So, doing four loads of laundry in, in a day be, would only be one kilowatt. So, it doesn't cost that much, but everything adds up. Uh, we do have uh, more fans running because of the heat. Uh, uh, gracious. Uh, Parents and sister live just downstairs. Uh, they've got a fan that runs 24/7 too. And then the grandmother, uh, we give her a fan where it got so hot. Uh, she's, you know, she's 77, 78 year old, and we're afraid she's going to have a heat stroke. So we 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 got her a fan. Uh, so all that adds up. You know, fans pull roughly, depending on the fan. Most of the just general fans will pull 60 watts. But still, you get 60 watts and it runs uh, day and night, you're looking at uh, almost 2 kilowatts uh, uh, per day. That's 60 per month. Uh, not hardly, probably, they fan probably if it runs 24-7 on, uh, on these small fans. Uh, probably looking at about uh, 45 kilowatts. But still, you take 45 and, uh, and 45, that's 90 plus. We got uh, fans running here in the house also, which are bigger, and they pull more energy. The one in the living room runs. I say we're pulling three kilowatt a day off of it, so that's another 90 kilowatts. So I guess most of our energy is going into fans. Starting to think about it, <laughs> it don't matter. We we live uh, within reason, uh, and uh, we I you know I enjoy my life here. And Grace is just a wonderful person. And, so it's not about the money, it's just that we got to stay within a, our means in order to keep, maintain a lifestyle. And <coughs> that's what we do. Uh, we've uh, limited our, our travel now uh, in order to do that. Uh, I guess you've noticed that. <laughs> but anyway. Folks, I hope everybody out there is, is, is well and uh, enjoy our videos, hopefully. And good health.
So just stay tuned, and I'll try to keep you updated on what's going on of the everyday life here in the Philippines. Uh, you can live a good lifestyle here, and within reasons, if, if you just pay attention to your surroundings and take care of yourself, and which I try to do. So, folks, until next time, enjoy and subscribe.